middle of I-75, and we're excited to bring you this MAC rivalry. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Well, this one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's taken down at the 27. They come out in a five-wide set. Throws and a man wide open, and he missed him. Third and eight. Ball on the 27-yard line. He's got it out to his tight end, and they push him out at the 34. Score that round for the defense. These guys are flying around right now. And down he goes at the 31. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Fires quickly, and he's got his man brought down right around the 32-yard line. him hard at the 42. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. He's tackled at about the 43-yard line. Yeah, the defense looked a little sluggish there, and they can do better than that. His left gets it out to the halfback, and he's taken down at the 37 yard line. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. catch they just inch past the marker yeah it looked like he got it just by the nose of the football and they make the stop around the 21 yard line to 13. Eight-yard gain on the pass. That'll be good enough for the first down. It's the protection up front that allowed this play to happen. The line controlled the rush, and it gave the quarterback an opportunity to deliver a very nice throw. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Gets to about the eight-yard line. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Concentration lapse right there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. 
First down. First and goal. You're going to go play action inside the five. Here's the time to do it. Touchdown, Rockets. And he hits the PAT. A 10-play, 67-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. Toledo to kick. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. The Rockets are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And they got him for a loss. This guy's out of his stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block. They found out right here on this play. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on their own 20. Nice catch. First down, and he's knocked out. Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Let's it go. Number six was the intended receiver on the play. Second down, Nine, 10 to go. Ball on the 46. The Rockets lost one of their key guys earlier to that injury. And unfortunately, I don't think he's going to play any more football today. Gets it out complete again to his tight end. And he's tackled at the 42-yard line. the tight end again. Tackle made at the 35. Tackle at the 19. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. Inside handoff. And down he goes at about the seven yard line. pretty simple. Well, this quarterback isn't your average player. He runs the option very well and gives this defense fits. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10-play, 78-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. 
The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He flings it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Third and ten. Ball on the 22. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled in the open field. That makes it first and ten. Draw play. Taken down in the backfield. Gets out to about the 44-yard line. Gain of eight yards. That'll bring up third and two. Easy, 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 easy. Nice run there. Carries the ball. Call it a gain of six yards. First down. Got a bounce for a short loss. That'll bring up second and eleven. From their own 49-yard line. Second down. We've played one. We're even at seven in this one. can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first tight ball game folks here's the halfback on the screen and he tackles him hard at the 46 the ninth play of the drive. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That's good for the First down. Scrambling around, and they got him. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Complete brought down, nothing doing. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. They'll go to the ground, and they're not going to make it. I'm not going to fault that decision. It was definitely a first down that they could have picked up. You want to be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out. I can't argue the play call. The defense just did their job by standing their ground. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Strike to his receiver, no good. You know, I think the quarterback got so excited to make this throw that I think he just put too much on the football. His receiver was open, he just misfired. From their own 30-yard line, second down. He gets to about the 41-yard line. And 
they get nice yardage on that run. He makes his way to about the 38. It to the 35 yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That makes it second and eight. Throws and it's incomplete. This quarterback needs to be careful not to use his arm strength to try to force things because that's when mistakes happen. Third down and they need to get it to the 28. Makes the grab and steps out right away. He's taken down at the 20-yard line. Number 11 brings him down at the 20-yard line. That brings up second and nine. He's under pressure. Gets it out quickly. Brought down at the 19-yard line. Number 33 on the tackle at the 19-yard line. That makes it 37. Slings it. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. down for a loss on the play. That brings him second and goal. They're at the six. It's second down. The Falcons saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That makes it third and goal. 13th play of the drive coming up. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. Tacks on the extra point. A 13 play, 70 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook try. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. Excellent kick. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He got hit hard. <laughs> With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Aaron and out long. It's the sophomore that's got it. To the 20, the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. Where was the coverage there? There wasn't anybody near him at all. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he adds the extra point. Toledo gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 26. 
This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So to change it up, try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. He's tackled around the 43-yard line. Quick pass, and he's immediately tackled. some heat he's wrapped up for the sack coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that and don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better fires out to his receiver and he's taken down at the 42 the falcons use their second timeout third down now and they need to get it down to the 31 It, and that's all. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. This is the ninth play of this drive. take their final timeout. So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. It's up, and it's through the uprights. Well, that one looked like it was going to be wide, but he put it inside the uprights. Yeah, he squeaked that one in, and he didn't have much more than a couple of inches to spare. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. We've played a half. The Falcons lead 17-14. Very close game now as we start the second half. McDowell from the three. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Fires it out. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Number eight with the tackle at the 26-yard line. That makes it second and six. And he hits him hard at the 29-yard line. And they make the stop at the 30-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. Yeah. 
He's to the 40. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Bowling Green is up by three. He laterals the ball. He's knocked out of bounds around the 49-yard line. That makes it second and two. They'll bring him down at about the 49. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third and two. Just gets rid of it. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. They run for the first, and they don't get it. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. At about the 45. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he's tackled in the open field. That makes it fourth and inches. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They went for it on fourth down on their last possession and weren't successful. It's important for this offense to reestablish their continuity. The last time, they were unable to move the ball down the field. In fact, they were taken off the field after not converting on a fourth down. They get the football back. Let's see if they can reestablish that confidence. It's second and ten. Ball on the 20. Bowling Green is up a field goal. Gets it, but steps out and will lose yards. Call the loss of one yard on the play. That makes it third and 11. Mike 34, Mike 34. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. around the 38-yard line. That brings up second and 13. From their own 38-yard line, second down. Fires to his receiver, first down. And down he goes around the 37-yard line.
They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Bowling Green holds a field goal lead. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. He's taken down right around the two-yard line. Rose and watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. That ball had interception written all over it, but the defender couldn't hang on. I think the quarterback there was a little too intent on hitting that receiver. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Touchdown, Falcons. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Oh, he got nailed on that one. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. A nice option play. The tailback gets six yards before he's brought down. Makes it to the 37. First down. Gets to about the 37-yard line. That makes it second and ten. Fires out to his wideout. Good tackle there in space. That's good for a game of two yards. That makes it for seven. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. The Falcons with a 10-point lead. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Fires quickly to the tight end. That's a huge, huge stop here in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back, but there's still a lot of ball left. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. You don't need three guesses to figure out what they're going to run right here on fourth and short. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. First down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He fights forward to about the 49. That makes it second and six. They'll get him for a loss. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. They come out in a five-wide set. He's under some heat. He'll run it again. Slides down to the ground. 
call it a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. Come on out here. Come get some. Come get some. Come on here. Come get some. Here, Ronnie. Come on. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Hey, I know he dropped it, but the safety put himself in a position to make a play. That's impressive. Second and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. They come out of an empty backfield. He's going to try and scramble. And he tackles him hard at the 30. First down. Quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. From the 30 yard line, second down. He gets another carry and they'll get him in the backfield. Here's play number 14 of this drive. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he hits the PAT. A 14-play, 77-yard drive, and they put up seven points. So our score, 24-21. Toledo to kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Bowling Green has a three-point lead. Brought down around the 34-yard line. That brings us second and nine. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's tackled right around the 46-yard line. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds at the 47. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Check, check. Disco, Raver. Disco. Wants to go long and uh, missed him. Number six was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and 11. Looking for the corner. He fields the punt at the 20, and they push him out around the 28-yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Just under two to go in the game. And it's caught. And he's taken down at the 47-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Throws and it's incomplete. 
from their own 47 yard line. Second down. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. He airs it out. Did he catch it? Yes. Penalty markers down. They took too much time. Delay of game. Offense. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a four-play, 72-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. The score now, 28-24 from his own goal line, and he's tackled at the 23. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Out of bounds, right around the 26-yard line. A pickup of about three. Usually, you get a linebacker covering the tight end, so they might want to try some longer passes to exploit that mismatch. Third down and seven. Ball on the 26. And a great job that time on defense. Good job here, but let me tell you something. That wide out was left out to dry that time. quickly and he's got his man and they make the stop the 50 yard line fires it out he's at the 40 he's knocked out of bounds at the 37 yard line first down 10 to go ball on the 37 yard line a little over a minute in the game. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. That's a loss of eight yards. That'll make it second and long.
He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say, that won the ball game. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. Just an unbelievable stop where they had to have it on fourth down, and that should be the football game. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead, they've got a chance to add to it, and that would mean a victory. Gold after a decent pickup. Bowling Green's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They'll bring him down around the 42-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. The Falcons using their third and final timeout. Nice gain as he works the right side. The defense has got to do a better job of being more aggressive. You know, this offense doesn't seem to be in much of a hurry. They're working the clock. You know the chances are they're going to run the football. That allows the defense to pin their ears back and get aggressive. It really comes down to the defensive linemen holding up against the offensive line and the linebackers and safeties crashing downhill and making plays against the run game. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.